Hey Leo, welcome back to Soul Vibin' with Carrie. Back again with another tarot card reading here for you. Leo, this tarot card reading is going to be all about February 2021 predictions and forecasts. So we're going to tune into uh, tarot energy to see what's coming up around you for the month of February. Okay, this is the overall highlights. Very general reading. Okay, touching up on every little... Not every little thing, but just, you know, here and there on what's happening for you. I will have a reading coming up for specifically for career and money as well as a specific reading for your love situation but this is a general reading so keep that in mind if this doesn't resonate with you check one of your other signs or all of your other signs to get a full clear picture on what's coming up around you for the month of february so leo thank you so much for being here i will start off with your astrology black moon cards this is going to give me the overall tone of what's coming up around you and this is your work your light oracle as well as your tarot cards of course your monology cards are going to tell me what's coming up around the new moon and the full moon for the month of february and then your self-care for the month as well as your spirit animal for the month okay so lots of good information that's going to come through for you for february 2021 predictions as well as your sparks of kindness balance and passion or whatever wants to come out there for you so leo if you're interested in watching this just stay tuned i will be right back i'm going to take all these little cute crystals off since they have already charged your cards for just a bit here and i will be coming back with the tea okay leo see you in a bit all right leo so let's go ahead and tune into your oh cancer some of you may be dealing with a cancer here friends some friend that's a cancer maybe that might need your help this month of february well, anyways, let's go ahead and tune into your astrology card here for the month of February 2021. It's a good tarot card reading. I'm so excited to get into this, you guys. Okay, so let's get the overall energy for Leo for February. Okay. Lots of shuffling here because I just want to get the perfect card for you guys, you know. There we go. Communicating. So communicating is definitely going to be highlighted for you. Okay, communications in all area. Maybe some of you work in communicating with other people, making videos or leading people in some type of direction as well with air element. I feel like you're going to be in the flow. Okay, the flow of things. Connecting with air this month is also going to be very beneficial to you as well. Just being outside in fresh air. Okay, Leo? Let's go ahead and tune into your energy, though. Okay, what's coming up around Leo? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Ooh. So we got the Fool card here to start off with. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. Ooh, the Tower. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's okay, baby. We're going to get through this. <clears throat> We're going to get through this, okay? Overall, with the Emperor card here, I feel like you're going to be uh, coming out winning here, okay? The Emperor is about winning. Okay, back in the deck energy, you get new love as well, okay? With the Tower card here, I feel like some of you guys are going to be fighting your own demons or your own battles here. Everyone's different, so we, we might all be going through a different energy within this month, okay? Overall, communication is going to be key to any dealings or anything that you go through okay something very exciting might happen as well okay but the tarot card doesn't have to be negative because you get the fool card and the emperor here okay so this doesn't have to be um something uh, something negative okay i'm not gonna take this page of wands in the reverse because i just don't feel like it fits okay <laughs> just don't feel like it fits so with this fool card though and the tarot card here um, definitely the beginning of February is going to be very promising. It's going to be, you're just going to take your leap of faith, okay? As always, Leo, you're very faithful, okay? You you always have a lot of hope in you and you hope for the best, okay? You stay light, shining your light and you look forward to new beginnings with open arms. Especially in the month of February, okay? Your ideas and your opinions um, will matter a lot, I feel like, within this month. Oh, God. 
as a fellow Leo, you guys, I'm a Leo, right? So <laughs> seeing this tarot card, I'm just like, all right, what's going to happen? I'm already like, what's going on, you know? <laughs> so we're definitely going to get a clarification for that. But um, overall, uh, what I'm seeing here is, is you know, keep keep an eye out. I mean, something is definitely on the rise here. This may be with something that you're starting with, Leo. Okay, something coming about here. Or this may be with someone close to you because you did get the cancer and... Um, you know, some, something, something's going on here. You're looking for a new beginning and then you get this tower moment. It's like, okay, it's like as soon as you open your arms and take the leap of faith, you get your tower. So this just simply means, you guys, that you may be going through something that's going to help you um, on your path. Okay, because the full card, the full, is starting as journey, right? So they, um, as a full, which you are. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a, in a Leo. I don't mean that in a bad way. Okay, I'm a Leo, so it just calm down. It's okay. So what I'm seeing here with the full card is, you know, you're on your journey, and boom, immediately it's like a wake up call, right? But this wake up call is really gonna help, um, see, help you see into the future this month. Okay, with this Emperor card here, I feel like you're gonna, going to be assessing things from all angles and you're really going to be using your head, analyzing things just as the Emperor does. Instead of being overly um, spiritual as you usually are, you're going to look at things um, through a perspective of the masculine energy, which is all about, you know, material and earthly realms. Does that make sense? Gosh, sometimes I don't even know how to put things into words. Seriously, it's, it's almost like... Um, Hmm. You know what I'm really getting, you guys? I feel like during the, the middle of the month, so the 16th, around the 16th, you're going to get like this creative flash of something, okay? Creative flash of energy as well. Because you get, with the Page of Wands, it's like you're looking and there's a creative spark and it's like you're ready to jump into it, right? And also the Tower card with the flash lightning just reminded me that, you know, it's like there's something that's going to light something within you. This may be around the 16th, 18th, a little bit after like Valentine's Day. There's something that's going to happen that's really going to like spark something within you. Okay, that's definitely what I'm saying for you. into the energy here let's go ahead and see what's what's coming up around leo for um the new moon what should leo be focused on with the new moon we can also get information here on what's affecting you okay what's affecting leo or what's coming up around leo with the new moon Okay, so we get, it's time to take a breathe out. We also get surrender to the divine, okay, which I feel it's like what you're doing, right? Around the new moon and around the beginning of February, you're taking this leap of faith. You're trusting everything around you. The answers you need are coming. This may have to do with a Gemini you've been dealing with or that you may deal with, okay? The answers you need are coming either way in some type of way. Also, a new start is coming for you. Like, <laughs> wow. It's very interesting that you get that because you get surrendered to the divine and a new start is coming. The energy is gaining momentum. And I feel like there's a lot of energy here in the middle of the month for February, especially with a tower card here. It's like tremendous energy. I don't feel like this has to be negative, you guys, because you get the full card, which is a brand new beginning on something, okay? With the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon, a new start is coming. I feel like there's just something very fresh, very new coming for you this month okay this may be energetically energetically something is happening there's going to be a shift and i feel like this can be within your own mindset leo to a point where you no longer give a fuck okay you really don't give a fuck anymore you're you're done dealing with bullshit you're done you're done you're ready for something new something positive and you're being very analytical about it as well okay you're, sta you're standing very very guarded and very grounded with this emperor card here. Let's go ahead and tune into your self-care oracle. Self-care oracle for Leo, please. Ooh. Ooh. I saw that. Did you see that? Oh, I might as well show you since I already flipped it over. Let's go ahead and get your animal card here. Your spirit animal for the month of 
February 2021. Ooh, black egg. Deck of the deck energy, we got cheetah. Okay, this is you moving forward. Okay, excitement. Okay, excitement coming around you. And you standing in your own power. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries. Okay. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries here. Let's go ahead and get your the work your light oracle. We get Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's you're following your intuition with, with this leap of faith that you're taking in, in the beginning of the month. Okay, this has been something that's been planned for you. I feel like this is um, divine. Okay, divine. Definitely divine. Okay. <laughs> I am going to clarify these for you because that's just something I need to do for myself too. Okay. Being a Leo, I'm just like, what the hell? You know, like, mm -hmm. so let me tune into my tarot cards here. Where are they? I always do this, you guys, all the time. Here they are. Okay. <laughs> so before I give you the self-care oracle, I'm going to go ahead and tune in to see what what this is about okay this tower moment can i clarify the full card please the full card for leo okay so we get okay so we got the six of pentacles okay so this is career wise everything's going to be fine everything's going to be working out as it should i feel like you're going to be giving to people okay you're going to be very giving to people here okay people like what they see shine your light is what i'm hearing as well wow so we get the queen of pentacles the five of wands and the seven of wands so yeah you're very worthy leo is what i'm hearing it's like you you've brought up your self-worth to a level where it's attracting people okay and this is bringing you a lot of energy now this can be negative energy around you as well with the seven of wands in reversed i feel like some of you um may want to give up because of people in around you but what i'm hearing is don't give up because this is actually going to push you further if people um around you are trying to stop you you know be like the cheetah and keep moving forward is what i'm hearing as well what's this tarot card about please Tower card for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, a reunion of some kind. Something, okay. There's something happening here for you um, that's going to cause you... You know, the Tower card, you know... The Tower card pops up in my reading sometimes even when I'm just like... Like, shocked. Does that make sense? So maybe there's somebody who's going to reach out to you who's, who's going to want to um, reunite with you in some type of way here. Okay, they see your worth. They see your value. Tune into your love reading for sure. But let's go ahead and see what this page of wands is about. So I didn't clarify like this for other readings. Yeah, ten of wands. So this page of wands is going to turn into this ten of wands really quickly for you, okay? I feel like overall the ten of wands is, is you working hard and diligently. And this is going to bring about the emperor energy. This is People are going to start see you, seeing you in a new light. You're going to gain a lot of, um, what is it called? Um, when people look up to you, basically, okay, right? You, you're working yourself to this, to this emperor energy. This is someone who leads, leads and who um, has a lot of dignity as well. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know why that came to my mind, dignity. Okay. Let's see what the emperor is about. Emperor energy here for Leo. Ten of wands. Hmm, yeah. Wow, King of Pentacles, yeah. Do you see this is the Queen and King of Pentacles? There's a lot of balance within yourself. Also, somebody else you're dealing with, maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, who may be um who may be coming forward to you. Definitely. But with this Emperor and the King of Pentacles, I feel like this is you, baby. This is you, Leo, coming into your own power. And your self-worth is going up because you know who you are, okay? Especially towards the end of the month. So ignore any negative energies in around you who try to bring you down. Ignore that shit, okay? 
some of you may be celebrating something coming together with someone here the tower card this may be the tower card and the celebration three of cups is yeah you're celebrating something okay okay so let me see what else here so we get yeah seven of swords <laughs> planning out okay plan okay so some of you may be finding out something definitely about someone or something all right not gonna get too deep into this uh yeah th this is definitely some, maybe somebody that walked away okay who's gonna tell you you know they miss you they they they're hurt or some something like that i don't think you're gonna take this very well so let's go ahead and see so we get ground yourself so that's definitely the energy i'm getting for you a lot of grounding that will be needed okay in order for you to move forward this this month of february with a black egg though that's very interesting. Let's go ahead and tune into what the black egg means, okay? Black egg is spirit. So, black egg is speaking from an authentic voice. <laughs> so, this is what the black egg is all about, right? Being being truthful to yourself, okay? And speaking the truth in all matters, in all situations, Leo. Because people are going to pick up on that as well, okay? With the black egg energy. Give me a second, honey. Um, yeah, inside of it resides no confusion, no confusion, excuses, or small talk or noise, lies, not even white ones. So, speak from a sense of truth during the month of February. Mm hmm. Yeah, throat chakra. Mm hmm. Writers, teachers, mu musicians, anybody who's in the public eye in some type of way, just be truthful with all your dealings is what I'm hearing. So let's go ahead and pull out your sparks of um, kindness, balance, and adventure here for you. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Go right out of it. Okay. I'm almost done. So it says here, spend a day by the closest body of water. Try an activity you've never tried before. Read something that uplifts you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Help a friend solve a problem or finish a project. Oh yeah, that's definitely what I'm getting. It's some, someone's going to come to you. Someone's going to come to you, um, oh, that, oh, Leo, that was, I read it in the astro astrology, Leo, so I read about, <clears throat> about this energy into your, uh, what's it called, horoscope, so what I saw is that someone's going to come to you for advice, and maybe all you need to do is just hear them out, okay, Make a habit of kissing every time you see each other. Okay, this this is a spark of um, passion. So maybe there's someone in around you who just wants to be closer to you. Okay. Also, what daily tasks bring you down? How could you improve or stop them? So yeah, this is definitely what I'm getting with the Ten of Wands energy. It's like um, if something isn't... What the hell? Oh, <laughs> if something isn't making you feel good, like cut it. You know what I mean? Cut it. Just stop. Just don't do it. <laughs> okay. So overall, Leo, you have a very exciting, very mysterious almost um, month coming for you. So I really hope you enjoyed your reading. Tune into your um, money and career and love tarot reading as well. Because I feel like there's something for love here as well for you. So thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. I will see you guys at your next reading next week. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.